Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 3. I am just finishing up the all the alumino silicate wool, the cooper knuckle coils, and I'm just about to uh, start crafting all of these up. I don't know why I did it that way. I should have just put the each stack in, but uh, yeah. So we're going to need to do this. It is a three. That in there. We can pull this out. I should have more over here as well. And we need molten tin. All right, there we go. There are the coils. Now I have gone ahead. I've got the output bus, input bus, and the input hatch crafted up. The input hatch was kind of like the most annoying one so far. Just because it requires a tank and the tank requires uh, strengthened glass or obsidian glass. And that requires thickened and then clear. And yeah, it's just kind of annoying. Uh, at this stage uh, but we got that we got the two energy hatches the last episode uh, I just need a muffler which not difficult but just kind of annoying and then the maintenance hatch eventually we will be doing them this way uh, but for now I have to do it manually and I don't even remember. Is that all the tools? That might all be all the tools. Yeah. No! I totally... <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Well, I was pretty sure I left click there, not right click. But uh, we'll need a maintenance hatch eventually. Uh, but I do need to make another need to make another LV uh, machine hole. I swear I left click there. But oh well, it'll be okay. So we'll put the maintenance hatch there. We might even be able to put it on the top. I do know they relax some of the... I was about to be sad if I didn't have any wrought iron. Um, I do remember in one of the patches they uh, relax some of the requirements for it. And I, I don't remember if I put uh, you can put the maintenance on the top. Totally just blanked on what I was doing there. All right, LV machine hall. LV machine hall. All right, so final one. We need to get the the muffler hatch done. Oh, there we go. There is the sixteen of those. That was actually quicker than I thought that would be. All right, I'm actually gonna wait to place those because I'm gonna have to. Place the controller and then the heat things will go there. All right, so that's, and then I got to do the rotor. There is an extruder recipe. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, I don't have a LV extruder there. I don't know if I will craft that up. I know there is some... Um, there are some uses. One of like the really cool ones is the rubber ring. Because right now it's... Uh, I do the knife on the rubber sheet. So you have to craft the rubber sheets. But you can actually just extrude it. And you get four. Um, but yeah, I don't have that yet, unfortunately. So, all right. Let me finish crafting this stuff up. Oh, there's a hammer. I was like, where did the hammer go? And then I just need the controller. 
we go for a Mega Blast Furnace first? That would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> if I went for that as our first Blast Furnace, that would be hilarious. I'll see you in a few weeks. Yeah. So, three of these, and then Iron Furnaces, Heat Roof. Nothing crazy. All right, just finishing up the controller. I was just waiting for the final things for the circuit. All right, there we go. So that, and then there we go. There is the electric blast furnace controller. Da -da -da. All right. Um, I'm also like almost out of steel. I went through almost two stacks. I. Uh oh, we got a fire. <laughs> I have no idea where that fire came from, but we got a fire. All right. At least it didn't burn the base down. All right. I do have. I have some. I don't remember putting this much. I didn't realize I put so much iron over here. Alright, we'll get that going. Alright, there we go. Yes. All right. We did it. Um, I do have one extra heat proof machine casing one because I accidentally crafted up an extra one. Um, I was thinking I needed one for the controller. Um, and the quest required 11. So I was thinking, oh, I needed actually I need 12. But that includes this. But uh, we'll need when we replace the energy hatch. Uh, we'll need another heat proof, and they're only, it's only like, just some invar, it's not uh, that bad, but, uh, alright, so, okay, those, those are hooked, right, yeah, it's a little hard to see with the wood right there, but, um, we need this, I'm gonna take that. Because I don't really want to deal with maintenance. So there we go. Maintenance is good for a while, at least. Alright, so there we go. There is our blast furnace. And we can now smelt aluminum. So in theory... We should be good. Let me just double check here. Can we... Ah. <laughs> yes. Oh no, there is a one. Oh, that's HV. Oh, right. Is this the... We might not be able to do this until we get... Yeah, alright. Just kidding. We have to do it the other way. Alright. And this wasn't a thing before last time. So it's the al al Alumina. Isn't it? Or like the... Is it the Cryolite or something? Cryolite. I think the Cryolite is how you have to go about doing it now. Um, so, no, you do get Illumina from Cryolite, but, uh, here. Cryolite, Cryolite and Illumina gets you Aluminum, and that's how you get this early on. I'm like, I don't know. Because these are all byproducts, and we don't really get byproducts at the moment. 
Well, let me start. Let me uh, mace right this down. All right, there we go. For a second, I was like, why isn't that working? Okay, there is a few ways to go about doing this. And um, one of them is you can actually just smelt raw aluminum, the one you get from the, the smeltery. You can actually just smelt that directly into aluminum ingots. Um, and we can do that at this level. Nitrogen will make it more efficient, but it's not like super more efficient so i'm not going to worry about that um another way is to smelt the sapphire dust which we get a ton of from that vein um you can smelt that to get alumina so if you do one and one you get one or if you do three you get one so much better to do the carbon and that is why i uh did this because I believe, yeah, you can throw the thing in there to get the carbon. Um, now, all that ash and stuff, we, uh, I don't know if this one turns into, does this, I know the dark one does, dark ashes do. Does this one turn into, no, this one doesn't. I, I know the dark ashes can be electrolyzed to get carbon dust, uh, but uh, the thing we're doing doesn't produce dark ashes. All right, so let's go ahead and do this at least. It'll get us our first, what's that? Oh, xenon. That, that, that's a little bit, the colors changed a little bit. That used to be more like that color. Yeah, nitrogen. I don't have nitrogen yet, so let's just go ahead, throw that in there. Okay, there it goes. It is running. So there we go. Oh, no. I was kind of worried about cable loss. <laughs> I was a little worried about cable loss. All right. Um, we might need to place this closer. Because you can only lose eight. Yeah, you can only lose eight. So that is, uh, yeah, that's a little bit too far. Now, I think, let me, I might just do this temporarily and then, oh, I don't know if I can get silicon yet. Can I get silicon dust? No, because silicon dust is, it's something different now. I was just thinking, because if we could do the redstone, uh, redstone alloy cables, then we don't have to deal with the loss. But I don't think I can get this yet. Yeah, because that is like a whole process. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't I don't think there's any way I can get silicone dust. Oh, you can get it from redstone in a centrifuge. It is Hmm. All right. But the only thing is I would need to smelt this. I'm just trying to like work out like can I get away with not moving this stuff around, but I think I think I'm going to have to. So I think I'm going to do this redstone alloy. I'm going to just smelt it up and then use the cables to put the thing back there. Um, I just didn't feel like redesigning this whole thing uh, to get this closer. So it's going to have to go here. So let's do oh my uh 
putting this away. So let's do here. And then I'll just put this back here. All right. So technically those are just powering these directly, but that's going to have a lot of cable loss. Uh, so that is why I want it to go into the, that's why I want it to go into the battery buffer. So I think that will be okay. Eh, I'm a little, I am a little nervous about <laughs> this. I don't want to lose this stuff because uh, it is pretty precious. Um, I should get some oxygen. All right. So I have actually gone ahead and processed some of this down. I'm just, I don't have a lot of containers to store it in, so I don't want to do extra uh, 21. Oh, actually. Yeah. So that will... That should be fine. Alright, and I have to sleep because we don't want the... all our steam boilers to turn off. Okay, so in theory this this should be good. All right, I think I think we're good. So I'm just going to slowly smelt this stuff up. Oh, I actually need more. Uh, I'm not going to run anything at the moment. I just just until I get this up and um, actually now that I'm thinking about it, if we only have four. Yeah, you can see the cable loss, actually. Um, the distance, it's only getting 102 EU per tick. But, okay, so there we go. There is our first one. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, if we are... I need 10. 10 of these ingots to replace all these. And then I should probably replace those as well. So I just just to get this up and running. That's eight. Yeah, I'm gonna end up with extra, extra buckets of oxygen. I'll just leave it in there, I guess. Okay, so we got the 10 redstone alloy, which will get us 20 cables, which will get us five four X. So I think I'm just going to this back so we don't have issues where did I put it I had it right here didn't I all right so now that's getting 114 what was it 102 down there or something like that Yeah, I'll just leave that there. Okay, uh, so that, and then I'll do this. Let me grab of molten rubber. It'd be ideal if we had assembly machines for separate ones for like the glue and separate for rubber. But at this point, uh, it's a it's it's just a, a lot of crafting without so you get auto crafting it's just it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit oh no that's not what i want stop no i wanted four x cables no uh, i think i can oh no 
No. All right. We'll probably use the 1x cables. I'll just have to smelt two more. Dang, dang it. All right. Should we try this again? Let's do 4x cables. Yeah, unfortunately, without the unpackager, I can't really do anything about these. I'll lose, if I smelt them, I'll lose one of the ingots. Uh, so I was going to have to smelt up more anyway. Um, but yeah, the unpackager lets you get the wire back. But unfortunately, the unpackager requires a robot arm, so I didn't feel like spending that much time when I could just uh, smelt up a couple more ingots. Okay, so there we go. There is our redstone alloy cables. No cable loss. So I have enough for this. There is one more cable. I do want to keep that. <laughs> I wanted to despawn. So that, that, all right, so in theory, there will be, I think we'll be good, okay. <laughs> Siri thinks I'm talking to her. I, that totally distracted me. That was funny. I said in theory, and my phone thought I was talking to it. Um, yeah, uh, so that should be enough to smelt the aluminum. Yeah, all right, so there we go. No cable loss. Now, I do think we'll probably, as you can see, we're still using more than we're producing uh, because we're losing, we're losing power here. So I do think I will upgrade those. So I will actually use one of those. But now that we have this running, uh, it makes it a bit easier to smelt the redstone alloy. I don't have to like jump around with this. But now, um, the other kind of issue with the setup is if I'm running the blast furnace, uh, if I like put the electrolyzer on or something like that, we, we don't have enough that will take too much power from our battery buffer and it'll make this fail. So, uh, I don't want to do that. All right, so there is our first aluminum. By the way, there is a quest, and I think it's this one, but there is a trophy, and I haven't actually gotten it for crafting this up yet. Um, I wonder if I have to... That's probably... Yeah, that's what I'd have to do. There is the trophy. So let me, while I remember, I will do this. We'll replace that. And I think, yeah, maybe now I will do, man, I really wish I could do that and put them together. That would be ideal. So I need one, two, three and a 2x so three i need 12 i need 14 to replace those all right that's not the end of the world but i do need to do this and it's kind of a slow recipe actually to get the silicone also i need a container or the mercury. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of crafting these up as I go. They're not too difficult. Uh, it's 
four iron, one steel, two tin. And then a clay pipe, which I think I have. And a bucket of water is what those. Oh, I already had a bucket on me. That is what those are. Um, we'll have to sort out how I want to deal with. Oh, I need four. All these fluids as well, because right now I'm just manually doing it. Oh my goodness, my inventory. Alright, since we're not running the blast furnace, let's just do that. Now I could probably smelt this back down. Sir, no. Oh, there's a maze right Yeah, I could get 10 back if we want. I will lose the rubber, but I don't know if... Eh, I'll leave them for now. I don't know if I'll be using those again. I think we'll probably just switch over to the redstone alloy. I'm going to replace them all as well. Uh, what was I doing? Low voltage. So, yeah. I would like to have, I think it would be kind of cool if we had like a central kind of thing to go into the tanks, but without, that gets like really difficult without the filters or sh what is it? Shutter or what is it? I can't remember. There's one that you can uh, filter the Greg tech pipes, but it's kind of like overly complicated filter cover, fluid filter cover. Yeah. And it does require a circuit for everyone. So if I have like four different fluids coming out of like the centrifuge, then I have to do like a whole bunch of things, but it could be kind of cool. I like, I like, I really like Greg Tech pipes, but sometimes the, the filtering and uh, especially with the item pipes can be a little annoying. Okay, so let me uh, finish doing this. And I think... Yeah, this requires eight ingots. Um, but I will start smelting that up. I want to replace these with the, the thing, so this is getting filled up with as much power as possible. And I love seeing the average input output. Before you could see that, but it was locked behind the portable scanner, which, speaking of, I think that's HV? MV. HV circuits, but it's locked behind MV components, so it's not that far away. But uh, I do also like that uh, this has actually changed. Like, the early game has actually changed. Because um, originally you would just smelt the, um, the aluminum, but that has been pushed back to HV. Now there is the alumina cryolite method you have to do, so... Even though we're playing this again for the third time, it's changed again. So each playthrough is a little bit different. Okay, let me get the rest of this and we'll come back. Okay, we are back. Unfortunately, it is a blood moon, so I can't sleep through the night. So our things are cooling down. But I mean, I can hear them producing steam. Uh, so it's not the end of the world. But uh, I kind of made a bit of a derp there. <laughs> Uh, when I broke the controller to get the the trophy, uh, it kind of it erased the maintenance hatch, the tape we put on there. So I had to do all the maintenance again. Unfortunately, you need a soldering iron to do that. So I was like, all right, I'll just craft up a soldering iron. Uh, not thinking that you actually need a lithium battery for the soldering iron. Uh, so I had to go get lithium, and the way we got that was actually uh, centrifuging impure uh, lepidolite, and the other one is purified. Yeah, 
Not impure, because that'll give you Illumina. But, I mean, that's another way to get Illumina. But it is, it's only 11% chance. Uh, purified gives you Lithium. So I ended up getting three from, what, 37 of that. So that's just about 10%. A little less than that. But, uh, yeah. So I ended up having to do that. And I crafted up a soldering iron. So, I mean, it's good to have it. Uh, for future maintenance if we need it. But uh, yeah, I kind of laughed because it said uh, the machine had broken down due to structure problems or something. I can't remember the exact thing it said. And it took me a second to realize it was the maintenance. Um, okay. So we're good. That's not running. Yeah, so I am definitely going to have to sort out... I don't know. We'll see if we have... Usually I can do about six or seven. It doesn't drain that fast. You can see it's it's barely draining now that it's closer to these. And I have slowly, actually, we could probably I could just uh, I'll replace like the next one with this ingot and then I'll run the next one kind of thing but uh okay so i'm gonna do that i can hear that the steam's turned off so we're probably not producing steam thankfully the the blood moon is almost over um also i have a chest here just chilling up in the air i didn't even realize i was still there that's kind of funny okay so yeah like i said next episode uh i'm gonna replace these uh in between episodes and then we will start off the beginning of the next episode melting up the eight aluminum for this quest and we can do other ways to get alumina we'll look into that but uh we'll do that uh next episode anyway that's gonna be it for today so thanks for watching and have a good one